Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And today we have some Venom 2 movie news. Um, and I am recording this on October 15th. It's like, uh, like 6 or 7, oh, 7.45. Jeez, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I've had a rough day, as some of you probably saw on social media. I am feeling a little bit better now, but I was told to rest and to, uh, to drink a lot of water. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm relaxing right now. And I figured, you know what? I can't set up my lights and all that. The, the lights would agitate my head a little too much today. So I figured we'll just do this. You know, I'll turn the brightness down on my, uh, my phone here and I can uh, record this for you guys. Hopefully you'll still see it fairly bright though. Um, but this news came to us this morning. It was like 7 a.m. Uh, from Jeff Boucher uh, from uh, Deadline. And uh, I don't know if this is true. I mean, this is based off of his sources, he says in here. Uh, but apparently there's going to be a new villain. Uh, they're going to add a second villain to the Venom 2 movie. It won't just be Carnage, apparently. Uh, it'll be Carnage and Shriek. Uh, Shriek is a character that first appeared in Spider-Man Unlimited number one. We talked about her recently, I think, in uh, one of the Absolute Carnage, I think, issue three. They put her bio in the back where she was, like, talking to psychiatrists at Ravencroft and stuff. And as you know, in the comics, um, she is a mutant, I think. She, you know, has the X gene or whatever in her, and that allows her to manipulate sound. So I'm pretty sure for the film version, they're going to cut the mutant part out, and she'll probably just be, like, some science experiment uh, at, you know, at wherever uh, San Quentin or whatever the, the prison was at the end of the first movie. Maybe they're, like, torturing, you know, um, inmates underneath the prison somewhere, and who knows, maybe she's some kind of lab experiment, or maybe she's some leftover Life Foundation experiment, uh, you know, and we'll find that out and it'll connect her to the first movie somehow we have no idea i don't know what they're going to do with it uh, but according to uh, a sony spokesman declined to comment based off these uh this information that uh, jeff got here from uh, two sources that are apparently close to the project he also mentions a couple other things in here not just the fact that shriek might show up um, but he also mentions that by the way misspells cassidy there woody harrelson as the menacing uh, cast oh, actually you know what that might not be misspelled i don't know um, I think there's no set third A. I think it's just C K A S A D Y. I can't remember. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe they got it right. Um, I know it's not spelled typically how you spell Cassidy. It's not like C A S. It's not, that's, it's not spelled that way. I know that. Um, Shriek has been close, uh, closely associated with Carnage since intro, uh, in her introduction in Spider-Man Limited number one as part of the Maximum Carnage saga. So yeah, she first appeared in Maximum Carnage. She was an inmate at Ravencroft, she can manipulate sound. Obviously, that means she can hurt Venom and Carnage. And I guess Carnage liked that about her. Like, oh, wow, I'm, uh, she's sadistic and weird and mean, um, but she also can kind of hurt me. But, I, I you know, in, the, in his weird, you know, screwed up mind, he kind of liked that about her. But she could also be a good ally to fight Venom with and keep Venom at bay. So she can, you know, you shoot these blasts that are like sound concussive blasts um, that could like, you know, hurt the symbiote and stuff. So that'll be cool. That That's a good visual. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't just do symbiotes. This is good news if it's true because the first movie it was like you know a typical marvel movie where it was like all right it's one symbiote versus another symbiote and then you know like iron man versus iron monger or black panther versus killmonger or whatever and it was just like this it's like the same formula ant-man versus yellow jacket and it's i get tired of that and you know captain america versus winter soldier you're just like you're like do more like don't just have them fight evil versions of themselves and with this one i was like oh we're just i mean i love i can't wait that we're going to get carnage finally on the big screen but it was kind of like i was a little worried like oh it's just going to be venom versus another venom again like we got in the first film and that's why i wish the first film did like the sin eater story or something different you know i know that's not as big and as extravagant as you know another symbiote or whatever but still to me i was just like i don't know i, I wish the first movie started off in different ways so that it doesn't take some of the oomph out of this one but if they're going to bring in shriek that intrigues me more because then i'm like all right good there's a non-symbiote villain that could fight Venom now with unique powers and it could amp up this universe of, you know, people with powers and stuff. So, uh, you know, escalation, that's what it is. When Iron Man began, it escalated and then the threat started to come out in the Marvel Universe. When Batman began and Batman Begins uh, and took down Rachel Ghoul, escalation, it, it birthed the Joker. So it's like you need that escalation. You need that to happen to build your world. And uh, now we're going to get Morbius the Living Vampire in this world, possibly Madam Web. And it looks like we might get Shriek now, which is very, very cool. Um, 
Ruben Fleischer did do an interview recently where he said uh, he talked about like Spider-Man being the end game that, you know, he was like, hey, you know, Sony, it looks like they're building towards that. That's kind of the whole point of this now is because now that they got Spider-Man that they can use them again. You know, we started off Venom's origins without Spider-Man. So the cool thing is, is when they meet, it's going to be under different circumstances and in different ways than you've seen before in comics and TVs and stuff and uh, and, in movies and everything. And I'm like, that's true. And that's uh, hopefully that leads to. A good thing you know i hope that that works out that way uh so yeah you have uh you know more information here about uh, shriek and stuff uh, but no you know not a lot that's it's all they reported on was that and that it came from a source that was you know from working on you know the movies in some way but uh, apparently sony declined to comment and they said the other bit of information here that everyone was jumping on was the fact that uh sony declined because they said the movie's still too early in production and that they might not start filming until next year it says right there which won't begin principal photography until early next year which is a little stunning i think a lot of us were believing that the movie was going to start as soon as next month since principal photography because we know we, they've been working on it andy circus and uh, his uh, cinematographer like they i think his cinematographer posted that he got hired a couple months ago even though the news just came out he was hired a little bit ago and uh, has been working on stuff and looking at artwork and, and looking at designs and and the script has already you know been written for like, like the past like eight months now since like february by kelly marcel and tom hardy so it's like this ball is already rolled down the hill a lot and so uh but i know they also don't want to rush things either so they have an october 2nd release date tentatively but it could get pushed back for all we know they could push the movie back closer to christmas uh that'd be neat if they do they should do a christmas setting if they if they push it back to like december release date then they should you know flip the script a little bit and add it to take place during the holidays uh i just think that would be fun to see symbiotes running through the snow um that would also be different because we don't see a lot of snow stuff in some of the marvel movies i think age of ultron opened up in a snowy environment and then maybe a couple shots in iron man 2 or something but i think that would be cool to see like you know venom who's solid black running through snow you know to fight carnage who's you know red uh that would be awesome so yeah i don't know we'll see but um apparently it's not according to this anyway it's not going to be shooting till early next year now, which, like I said, that news caught me off guard and also made me doubt this a little bit because I wasn't sure that's that was the plan. I mean, that hasn't been officially announced by Sony or anyone. I guess this is Sony announcing it in a roundabout way by going, look, we're not going to comment on that because the movie is, is too early in development and we've decided to start shooting next year instead. Maybe this is their way of getting that information out there while, you know, you know, trying to avoid revealing this uh but you know who knows and for all we know they could have just been talking about putting shriek in the movie but ended up not doing it but still i feel like that's too late for that the game for this because this script has already been worked on for the past eight months so whatever characters are going to be in it i feel like for the most part they're going to keep in there they might change a few things who knows they may change a character at the last minute but if they wrote shriek to be in this film chances are she's you know they're going to try to go forward with that because her power is so unique they don't want to just rename her a different character you know and uh, at the last minute because then that you know they know that'll upset fans and stuff so uh i'm curious to hear your thoughts though on this do you think this is real i mean they're coming from deadline so it's a reputable source for the most part but again you know people can get things wrong people can hear things wrong or interpret things wrong so anything's possible but jeff has a pretty good record we've talked about him on the show a few times and he's gotten a few scoops before so it's it's you know it could be true um i hope it is though because like i said i think it'll bring in the, it'll be nice to have another type of villain in there instead of just another symbiote for venom to fight plus the relationship between carnage and shriek is unique because then we get like a bonnie and clyde kind of scenario you know or like natural born killers uh where we get you know a character like the villains have a love story too but it's like a dark twisted version of a love story and that would be nice to see in a movie and maybe they could like just have you know ann weighing and eddie just be friends in this movie and only tease a little bit at their love interest story and then just give the love story to carnage and shriek that would also be different than we've seen in other you know comic book movies for the most part so i don't know i'd love to see that what do you guys think let me know your thoughts down in the comments below as always and we'll continue our conversation down there i gotta get some rest i'm gonna go back to bed but i'm glad i recorded this for you guys so we could talk about this and i can post this up as early as possible so i'll try to get this up uh you know hopefully tomorrow wednesday i'll try to you know depending on how i feel i'll cut it together real quick and, and throw it up for you guys so thank you so much for uh, subscribing to the show we're getting near 2,000 subscribers i i'm so excited 
excited. So please keep sharing the show, keep engaging, commenting, liking, even if you dislike, whatever it is, it helps out the show. And I'd love to hear your opinions as always, because that's what this show's about. And that's how we keep growing is uh, by talking to each other about what we like and dislike and share each other's thoughts. And sometimes, you know, we learn a lot, not just about each other, but about what we like about these characters. And that's always the fun thing about me, you know, about doing the show for me is learning what you guys like and not just sharing what I like. So let that be known down below and we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.